Hey everyone, today we're gonna to build and deploy a Python application to Salad. First, we're gonna start off by using Uvicorn and a standard requirements file. We're gonna create our main Python entry point. It's gonna have a singular route at the slash endpoint that returns back hello Salad. Really basic, just to demonstrate how we can get running on Salad in about five minutes. Salad runs by using Docker containers distributed across hundreds and thousands of machines around the world. So the next step, once we have a working application, is to actually package that application up into a Docker file. Here we have a really simple file. It simply takes our um, requirements, Python, and installs it, and then runs Uvicorn with the start command. The most important thing to note here is that when running on Salad, we utilize IPv6 in order to route traffic through our app ingress. I'm using our load balancer. So you'll need to ensure that a host for Uvicorn is set up with colon colon um, to bind to IPv6. You're also gonna need to set up what port you're gonna be listening to. Um, we're gonna need that later when we configure Salad. And now that you have kind of the basic Docker file, we're simply gonna build our Docker container locally. Once that's done, um, we'll be able to see that actually in Docker desktop, see right here. Uh, run Python application. Uh, we can run that just to test it out locally to make sure it works. You can see that at startup, it's binding to the right um, port and IPv6. Now that we have the Docker container completed, we're actually then going to just push that container right up to Salad, uh, to Docker Hub, sorry. And now you can see on Docker Hub that uh, this image has been pushed up just a few seconds ago. We're gonna be needing to actually snag this uh, to use it later when we get to Salad. So what you're gonna do is create a new container group. Um, this is kind of how Salad functions, where you give it a container, a set of requirements, and then it allows you to scale up and down. So the image source is gonna be this newly pushed Docker container. Uh, a replica account lets Salad know how many instances of this container you wanna be running across the network. So we'll go with five. Um, very little hardware requirements for this. So a single CPU, single gig of RAM, no GPUs are required, but we'll get into that later in another video. Here, since we're using networking, we're gonna confirm that we set up IPv6. We're gonna configure that port, and then we're gonna make the decision on whether or not uh, we wanna authenticate this endpoint that is created. For today's demo, we won't need to, um, but if you do configure this, it simply requires that you include your API key whenever you make requests to your application. For this container, that's everything we need. Um, now we're gonna go ahead and deploy that. So what's happening now is that Salad is making a copy of your container to our internal private registry. This allows us to issue one-time access tokens when machines are selected to run your application and makes it so that you don't have to worry about any egress fees or other service limits on other registries. While this is pulling the container, you can go um, check out the deployment details if you need to revisit what you configured. In this case, we're setting up five replicas using networking on port 80. You can also edit this at any time. Um, so if you want to scale up or down, let's say your application is starting to see more traffic and you need to scale up to 10, you would simply update that replica count, save and deploy, and now we would start scaling up. You can see that Salad is now starting to download that uh, container to five different machines and it has given us the, uh, the static URL that will load balance traffic across these machines. So you can see if you hit it today, 503, because none of the machines are up and running yet. Once these machines get to a running state, that um, signals that the application is actually serving traffic and is ready for you to actually start hitting that API.
All right. Uh, looks like we got a couple machines that are running the application now. So if we refresh this, you'll see Hello Salads being returned. This has been a quick introduction on how to deploy a Python application to Salad. We're going to be continuing to expand upon this Python application in future videos. Thanks for watching.